on the same program this morning as we were last night. The only problem is our water temps last night were in the upper 60s. And because we've got a wind pushing out from where we're fishing, out into the deep water, it's actually pushed the warm water in here out and created an upwelling of cold water because we went from 68 degrees and it's 58 this morning. And it's cooler out, but it's not that cold to drop at 10 degrees. So this is gonna be interesting to see if if these fish are still hanging out in here. Hopefully they are, but uh, like Jamie said, we may be, may be looking for some warmer water here. But uh, beginning of day three, let's see what we can do. Little weed here. Which that water definitely stabilized yeah. in the up into the upper sixties. Yeah, she's right where she should be now. Yeah. Hold and see, okay, sixty-nine point four, so it's actually creeped up a little bit again. Yeah. Okay, so what's the excuse of not seeing anything? No. <laughs> We've literally we fished a mile of shoreline. Yeah. I just checked it. A miracle mile, huh? Yeah. So we fished a mile of shoreline and we've gained back our 10 degrees of water temp that we lost in our original spot. Up around 12 and degrees. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, I mean, we're back up to 68.7 from 57 from that, that upwelling in the corner there. And I don't know. No fish, hardly even a pike. Muskies are dumb sometimes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We're dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's the dumber one? You got there, Jay. Wow. Oh. Well, if it's a muskie, we'll. Get a visual. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> that could be just a northern that went whack. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, that's a northern that went whack. No, it's a muskie. It's a muskie. No, it was a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, Jamie caught a baby muskie. Ooh, I was going to say be careful. I just, I just threw her. That's for my safety. But the ones are the most dangerous ones sometimes. Yep. Hey, I need a... Oop, let him go. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Well, they gotta be gotta be small ones before they're big ones, so. <laughs> is this the bars on it or is it been wrapped in line or something? Like that? uh, weird. I don't know. Sometimes they get a discoloration like that. There he goes. The jump is what gave it away. I mean, like, I've never seen a northern or a muskie. That's a a muskie's a jumper. Yeah. The northern's not as much. Well, one musky. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll take it. Because <laughs> I go on the board, I didn't measure it. Top water on the oh, one. You think that one even went 25? No, no, I don't think so. It's probably close. 23. Fish? Get ready just in case. Oh geez, a nice walleye. <laughs> That's a big walleye. Yeah. 
Jeez. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a. Tag, you're good. Yeah. Players. What is he? Twenty-three and a twenty-three and three quarters. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, the muskies are dumb, but I guess at least we got a walleye. <laughs> All right, well, we haven't missed much because we haven't done much. Um, the pattern that we were fishing last night completely evaporated because of that upwelling of cold water we had. I mean, it just pushed those fish out of there. Um, we haven't been able to put any other pattern together. Find warm water, weeds, all the good stuff you'd look for, and just the fish aren't going today. So it has been a typical musky grind. And uh, we're just going to finish off the last hour fishing some weeds close to camp. And... Uh, Hopefully we can catch something. If we can't, I don't know. There's always a uh, cold Canadian beer and some food waiting back for us at the camp. So that's what the plan is. And that's stay all I have tuned. to say. <laughs> what? Stay tuned. Stay, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, sure. We'll see. <laughs> all right, we're headed in. That's a wrap. Day three was a bust, big time for us. Nate and Matt got a 48, a 45, and they saw a bunch of fish, but it was where we'd seen fish before, and it was on, was it Moonrise, Jay? Yes. Moonrise, so there you go. I mean, the weather wasn't getting them to hit, so the moon got them to hit. Um, oh, typical musky grind, and just goes to show you, even if you're in Canada, doesn't mean you're gonna catch fish. You still gotta work for these fish, and that's what we plan to do tomorrow. Day three out, see you later.